The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow Industrials down 80, NASDAQ off 70, S&P's down 15, gold contract uh, down $20 at 12.55. And as I said uh, on that update, we got to remember something, that the pit trading, that's where that number comes from, folks. So that destruction was done yesterday. Um, we'll see where that uh, baby shakes out today. Uh, silver, silver's down 42 cents, sixteen dollars seventy-one cents. You get platinum off thirteen, nine twenty-three an ounce. Uh, light sweet crude down eleven cents, forty-four dollars sixty-two cents a barrel. We're gonna have uh, oil numbers yesterday. No natural, one, natural gas today. Natural right? gas today. Yeah, oil in no, trouble, right? No one's using oil. We're no all, buyers. We're all electri electrified. Lots of supply. We're electrified, baby. I think we get a rig count tomorrow too for oil. Yeah, that's probably going up anyway. Yeah, I, I I say it's yeah more supply. More supply exactly. You got it. Bonds, ten-year note down eight ticks, uh, one twenty-six twenty-seven. Thirty-year bond down thirteen, one fifty-six sixteen. And King Dollar, King Dollar, get off the bottom, folks. Rejected lower price out here yesterday. Yep, uh, six hundred ticks, ninety-seven point five two zero. You got a bounce going uh, in King Dollar. The euro is trading at one eleven to the U.S. dollar. The yen is out here at one ten and a half to the U.S. dollar. Uh, bottom line is that uh, we get some red out here. Markets rocking. We got some, almost all red, right? Uh, almost all red. It's, uh, it's uh, you know we'll see where this shakes out because what you do have is that the Nasdaq folks is going after its swing low. Uh, from Friday, and uh, we'll see whether we, we get an expansion of volume. Thus far, we haven't touched it, and if so, if you're a, if you're a bull, you actually want it to hit it right now because I suspect the volume would be a little lighter. You don't want to wait to quad witching tomorrow to hit that low, man. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hicks at TD Ameritrade Think or Swim. When we talk uh, options, we talk quad witching. We the talk... VIX is moving a little bit today, too, right? Yeah. It's up a buck, I think, 11 something, 1160. We'll, we'll check it out, but action in there for sure. And we talk uh, futures. So today, folks, is Thursday, so that's going to be, you know, you're going to get some great future lessons over at Swim Lessons. And don't forget, folks, no matter where you're listening right now, you can listen 24 hours a day right on your cell phone. You go to tfnn.com in your browser, hit Tiger TV. And if you haven't test drove the Thinkorswim platform, go do it. You know, uh, you, you know it's interesting. Uh, Tommy knows yesterday. You know, unfortunately, it, this brokerage business is always a tough business, particularly when people are getting into it. They call you up. They want a survey. The cold and, call. And I had, I had a couple of friends that you know. They, sure. So I took the survey. Sure. And they were asking me specifically, well, who do you use and why do you use them? And I said, I, 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 this is a buddy. I told him, I says, listen, don't get in that business, man. I says, I use TD Ameritrade. Why do you use them? They're inexpensive. They're great. People don't need brokers anymore. It's, it's not simple. Rationalized paying and, that and, fee. And it was, yeah, it, was a good, it was a good conversation. But I was yeah. like, okay, what are you gonna do? Totally. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How's everybody doing? Doing great, man. Doing good. Hey, you know, hey what's this talk? We don't need brokers. Hold on a minute. <laughs> well, you know, it, advisors. You know, right? I, I guess Kevin, what I was saying. You're say, mostly right. Yeah, and and you know, it was, and I love this guy. Tommy knows right. this guy. This guy's a real good friend of mine, and he, well, a business acquaintance that's been a really good friend. And you know, when you change careers, folks, he was a banker, and then all of a sudden, you know, he decided I want to be a broker. And he says, "Oh man, go sell insurance, man. Don't get the brokers." So he was doing the interview with me. Do you know what I mean? And oh God, and, and I know, and it's like you know, you're talking, you know. I mean, you really think you're going to call some up and sell them stocks when you can jump on, you know, yeah. pick or swim and it's inexpensive and it's stable and it's great. Yeah. Right. And then you, you know, you trade in ETFs on your own, whatever it yeah. is, and you just right. cut out. Yeah. 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 This market has evolved. Yes. Into a very self directed world. Right. Yeah. Right. right. You open up your own computer, you point and click, and, and the popularity of self directed trading has never been more popular and it's still just scratching the surface it is and it's but empowering it you know what? yes show 12 o'clock here folks that on thursdays they talk about futures it's empowering and if i've learned anything over the course of years it does take five six seven years 
to really understand, you know, equities, most people start in equities. If you start in equities, you're going to end up in futures. Trust me on this. Yeah. That's just how it goes, okay? And, you know, there's a, there's a curve, and it's great when you understand those different structures, you know, because it helps, I think, tremendously have, having a much larger scope. Definitely. Right, and it's about people taking control of their own finances. Yes. And make and you know what? It really is, I think. It's educa it's, it starts with education. Right. But the more people dive into the education part of our business, the more, you know, evolved they become and the more free they become. And they start saying, you know what? I'm smarter than I thought. Yes. And I can make my own decisions. Right. And I know that I like stocks and don't like any. And I can buy low and sell high just like anybody can. Sure. And, and the more education they do, the more confident that they feel. And that's how what we feel we differentiate ourselves from other firms, which is based on education. No, I, I agree. Definitely. And it's, it's, it's a big deal. Yeah. And, it, you know, it's amazing to me that, and this has happened forever inside the money business, right? It's the one thing they don't teach you in school. It's like we get some great schools and we get some bad schools. But in, in general, I'd say we get some great schools in the United States. And it's like, man, you know, the most important thing, you work your butt off and then you go give someone else your money. It's like, why? <laughs> right. Right. And, you know, Tom, think about this. Here's the best example I can tell you. I did a, a WebEx last night at 7 o'clock Chicago time. Yes. Right? On basic options and, and working on points of options. Yes. On a Wednesday night, 7 o'clock in the middle of summer, 700 people. Oh, my God. Right here, Walked folks. On, Noon, to Noon time. Right here. Thanks, Thanks so much, Kevin. Kevin. Have a great day. You too, man. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Industrial is right now down 76. You get the NASDAQ, uh, no, Dow Industrials are down 93. NASDAQ's down 76. S&Ps are down uh, 16 and a half. And folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex uh, platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website at tfnn.com. You'll see the banner on, on the top or the side. You can bring up the banner. Uh, they'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account, and you can uh, walk along with us as we trade these defined option contracts. So the, if, you, if you happen to be watching Tiger TV, the last couple of days I was trading the, the NDX 100 two-hour ones. Yes. Now this morning, it was because it already got so crushed. Um, okay. I went into uh, the gold, gold contracts for the dailies plus the uh, two-hour ones. I already traded the eight to 10. Because in gold, okay, so they have $15 till 10, ones. Which, of course, expired. Yeah. And these are the 10 till 12, which I we did. have as well. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I did. And what are these? So 12, 52, 50 to 67, 50. Right. 15 and, bucks. Yep. And so they're $150 total. Right. right. And right now we're 12, 56, 7. Yeah. Looks like you got in about a dollar ago, 55, 8. Right. Right. So when we started the program. There. Yeah. Right. 10, 06. There you go. 10, 06. And then on the daily, so here, let me show you what I'm sure. looking at out here. And this is where, you know, I brought this up on the, on the uh, both the uh, update when we were talking with Kevin. And this is, you know, it, it's, it's important to just remember, and I know this is, you know, like when you wake up in the morning, gold's down 20. It's like, oh, my God, hold it. Well, it was down 20 yesterday, folks. <laughs> That's the bottom line. I said I was coming yeah. in listening. And then... You know, and until I heard your update, I said, "Oh, that's right." You know, and I yeah. knew that, but it is right. funny how the headline right. the headline gets you sometimes. Right now, so what I'm looking at is this: they trash gold good, right? Uh, this morning, it's like, okay, man. You know, uh, the first trade that I had done, uh, it was, I was, it was about uh, twelve fifty five, and it, it got trashed to twelve sixty eight. I mean, this is why this product is so cool too. I mean. I had defined risk. It goes down below it. Below it. Yeah. Well, I'll share what I'm gunning for, though. What I'm gunning for is that the last time that we had big volume on the way down goes all the way back here, and it's a big number. You know, you're talking about 1271. So to me, sure. that's where a bounce can come in. And it's like, oh, really? I'll, sure. I'll take that reward versus the risk. Yeah. Because yeah, the risk is very minimal at this point. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, it was so high. I mean, just even yesterday, 1280. Down yep. to almost twelve fifty. Right. We're talking about thirty dollars. Right. So right. just even a retracement of that move. Yeah. And so um, you know, a lot of it's gonna contingent on, you know, where this dollar does go. And the dollar's strong right now. You know, if, let's go over to this dollar for a second. So the dollar has definitely caught a bid. Um, and it's staying pretty good. You know, we'll we'll see how it comes into uh, the number to keep your eye on. If it, it's over ninety seven two seventy five right now. Uh, yeah, that's the number you want to keep your eye on. Uh, and, and what that is, folks, is that when we came down, we came down with 46,000 contracts. Now, it hasn't been able to hold that number. You know, we'll see what it does today. It's not, it's going to probably have about 24,000. It'll do about another 10,000 contracts, maybe. We've done 14,800 right now. And that's kind of pushing it, too, by the way, because what happens is that the dollar index loves doing big volume at the beginning of the day. Okay. So it seems to trade, you know. So we'll see where that uh, baby shakes out. Sure. We get over to the uh, uh, NDX 100. Now, the NDX 100 is going to tell us quite a bit today. Uh, the reason being NQU7 uh, is that when we were just talking with Kevin also about, we are talking about quad watching, um, the, the low is 56.43. Now, we haven't hit it yet, but it's going after it. Three points away. Yeah. Now... If we break this with volume, you are talking, it's a 264 A to B points. <laughs> That's a big number, man. Definitely. Uh, that can be done, you know, on a quad witching. Sure. You know, because that's, and that'll be tomorrow. Right. You know, so. It's uh, Friday. We'll see. We'll see. If it, it's Friday, you know, and normally Friday would be 
not a heavy day. No, but guess if what? We got an acceleration today, right? It was a heavy day last night. Friday. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, uh, this this that that it's, it's a big it's a it's quite a number, man. So let's jump back. We were going to jump okay. into the natural gas. Is what we? Oh yeah, out yeah. Oh my God. So we have natural gas, the EIA yeah. inventory numbers coming out today, <clears throat> two ninety five almost. We're trading at right now. <laughs> okay. So the eleven a.m. the eleven a.m. spreads are going to line up pretty close to where that is, since we're trading pretty close to where two ninety five is going to be the price point going to the positive to the negative. I like it. Let's put the positive one on the right. So we're going to be buying this one, two ninety five up to three fifteen. And selling this one, so you're looking at twenty six dollars. Um, not bad, right? right? You know, you're talking about twenty six dollars, twenty six ticks of these being two hundred dollar pies, because twenty yes. cents, right? Going from two ninety five to three fifteen. And let's just take a look at where it's been trading. Yeah. So about 293 to 295 jumping around this morning so far. Okay. And we would need 2.6 pennies, so about, you know, maybe 3 yeah. pennies, call it, away from 295. So when we we're up to 298 about here, or 292 down here, becomes kind of a profitable. Okay, so let me take a look at this thing. Because gas has moved quite a bit, man. There's no doubt. CRB. Oh, natural gas. So natural gas. Now, this would be the little delayed one. and we're This is the August contract. Is that what we're dealing with? Too? No, we're looking at the July, I believe. Okay, that's good. But, yeah. Okay. This will give me an idea anyway. Oh, definitely. Okay, so... Oh. Okay, so this is... Okay, let's go back to that. Because this is a confirmed ABC down, man. Oh man, this wants to go break the 290 level. That's what it looks like to me. So okay. we'll go back there for a second. So that would be saying that, and sorry, where are we trading at on that contract? 296. 296.6. So if you think it's going to the 290, then this contract would probably be going even lower than 290. Yes. Just to put things in right. context, right? And this is the uh, July. July contract, okay. Yeah. yeah. And so again, you know, we can take a look. We're going to go to break in about 60 seconds, 90 seconds. And these are the two contracts again. And since we're slightly below 295, yep. the negative one's going to have a little bit of value, right? Okay, so that's, that's. You know, I'm Whoops. not going to take this what trade. What did I just do? Okay, you just hit it. I did. You might, might muzzle. Oh, yeah. Okay. You did. Okay. We got it. <laughs> yeah, we did. We decided to make the trade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. We got twenty twenty four dollars. Uh, let's see, ten, eight, fifteen. Yeah, twenty five dollars. So two point five pennies away from two ninety five. Right. Now Perfect. See, and, and that's why, folks, when you're on this platform, keep that mouse right. Right. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Because I think I was trying to refresh it, and I had place order. Right. Yeah. yeah. Not the end of the hey. world. But, and, but would, would, would you also you want could have closed it out for a loss of like four dollars or five dollars, just fine. to put right. No, no, exactly. no. You know, just, you're just fine. Out. Yeah. Which is fine. And when you know you're going to do something, just do it quick on the other side. And you're right. Well, take you know? the other one now because that's a yeah. decent trade. There's, oh, not, yeah, yeah. there's not a lot of premium, and no. we're right next to the point. No. So okay. hey, stay right there. Tommy and I are coming right back, folks. Dow Industrials down 105. Nasdaq is off uh, 85, S&Ps are 18. It's going to go after this B point, folks, of, uh, on the Nasdaq uh, and, the Indi and in the index 100. Come right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. 
If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go take a look at that. Natural gas just went from uh, two ninety five to three bucks, and we'll explain. We had to do this really quick. And we'll explain up, yeah. uh, what we what we did out here. Um, so we had both sides of the trade. Yeah, we put on two contracts, two right. on each one on the right. break, and it was same paying about twenty four um, dollars combined per yep. contract. So you're right. looking for two point five pennies away from two ninety five. Yeah. And man, we got a five to six penny move within six seconds. And we also said, right, you you were kind of looking for it to go down. That's correct. So if you get a jump to the positive side, you'd be glad to maybe take at least all your money off, yeah. if not make. And you you actually doubled already. Right. You you know each combined just to go over exactly because it gets complicated with two contracts you know, right. in your head. But both contracts combined cost you twenty four dollars. Right. Two point four pennies. Anything above to the positive side or below 2.4 pennies, so like 297.4, right. you're breaking even, and you were just able to close it out. At um, and we'll pull it up maybe at the break, but I believe it was about three. Right. So, so you double our money already. Right. And I have the short side still on. And you have the short and, side. Still and what on. happened, folks, is we actually talked about this at the break. Right. Tommy asked me. I said, No, if you get the pop, sell it. Period. Yeah. You Especially know. to the upside, because maybe you're a little bit bearish. If you get a pop to the upside, look to sell the positive one and leave yourself exposure to the negative right. side. And, you know, you don't maybe necessarily think you have a reward to the negative side if it takes five or ten minutes. But when you can literally close it out on that first, like, gap within, like, 15 seconds, right. there's a much bigger opportunity where that just disappears, as oh we've seen, God. instantly. See and you're back to, I mean, right now, 299 to, you know, right. we're already two pennies off the high spike. We went aside 301.86 and we're under three. So right. that's two pennies right there. Um, and here's the actual. So stockpiles rose 78 billion cubic feet and the median estimate was 88. So you got a 10, you know, 10 billion cubic feet Less. miss. Yeah. Yeah. And that'll, right. that'll, that'll, that's, that's that'll a, that's a put good some, number. some fuel to the fire for sure. Um, trading right at $3. So it's nice. 
the, the, the click of the button worked out. The click, the click, it did work you know, out. And you that's did, what, you just and doubled what I, my money. I, I like that. What I said to you during the break, what did I say, right? I said, I, I think you should put on one more contract. You did. Because the premiums right. at 2.4 pennies, right. and it lined up right where it's just right next to 295, um, you're not overpaying a tremendous no. amount in the long term there, right. opening yourself up to a move. Either way, right before EIA drops, 2.4 pennies is all you need. You know, worst case scenario, if you you know run that bad and you're that unfortunately lucky, unlucky, and it expires on the dot 295, it's still only 24 dollars for both contracts. Right, I know. And, and you know, you just doubled your money right there, and, and that's and we'll see if it could maybe. Pick no, look, up. look at this. Here's the audit history. We got 3.004. How cool is that? Yeah, that's sick. Yep. <laughs> so you're looking at 54 dollars, yeah. and you put up 24. Right. And you still have action. Right. You know, over 100 percent profit on your investment. And guess what? In the span of um, four minutes, right. you know, you take that off and, and you get that spike. Yeah. You should, if you're making those trades, you should be watching that as that number's coming down because that opportunity right there to get out immediately on that spike, oh, it's, huge. it's huge. And we literally have both up, right? We're ready. We right. know what, right where we're going to click because it's that quick. Right. Totally. Let's go to uh, our man Tom in Plymouth. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, good morning, Tom. Tommy, how are you doing? You made it through the morning, man. Yes, I did. I was a little nervous about that last night. But, <laughs> hey, hey, listen, you know... Hey, well, it's got some action, man. It's, it's got action. And, we, and, and in the afternoon show yesterday, there was... Did you guys have a talk? We had a talk. Okay. Carlos and I had a talk. I, I oh, talked good. with uh, Carlos' Lots of wife. Yeah, we oh, had, fantastic. We, we, had, we, had a, we had a good show yesterday. Cool. Um, and I went to church last night. I went to church. Perfect, man. Session. The Hail Marys right. always work, man. There's no doubt. <laughs> You got to do what you got to do. Oh, listen, man, it's a head game. It, do, it doesn't. If I've learned anything in life, whatever the perception is, go with it, man, because it's good. It's, it's, it's it good. Is. It is. Yeah, so I missed your show this morning. I, I, so I just called, and uh, I'm sure you probably already talked about gold, but. Uh, I uh, bought it this I, morning. You know, I bought it. Oh, you did? Yeah. I, you know, um, and, you. and it, ha it hasn't done much. I mean, you know, that's uh, that thus far. I mean, I. I you know, let's pull the contract up right now. It it looks to me, my take is that this thing can get up to is it 71, I think. It's still early. Yeah. 78, actually. Hold it. This almost looks like... No, no wonder why. One second. I got the wrong contract up. December, okay. GCQ. Yeah, I, I knew that didn't look the same. It's not December yet, thankfully. No. Come on. <laughs> Seriously. So, I'm looking, Tom, the last time that we came down... That we can actually get into twelve seventy one. That's why I bought it. You know, that's uh, that, right. that that downdraft yesterday. I mean, that's it's like the two ten bar from yeah. yesterday, right after the Fed. It's the last time we had any big juice on the way down. So it's like, I'll take that trade. You know, so. Well, like you said, you said yesterday. You know, yeah, the stop isn't going to help you. So I pulled the stop out this morning because I was like, oh, I was watching it. It's not down too bad. It's not, and then it started going down. I'm like, oh boy, here we go. Yeah, no, no, I'm with it. When it, they they got it down to twelve sixty eight, right? And so if we do, yeah. let's go over to the GDX because what Tom's trading, folks, he's trading the Nugget and the J Nug. So the Nugget uh, is the three hundred, the direction three hundred percent bull position of the New York Acker Index. Uh, the J Nug is the uh, junior miners uh, direction three hundred percent of the market vectors trust. Uh, if we go to the GDX first. We'll take a look at the GDX. What you're going to see here is that, you know, you're right into the swing from the 24th. You got to 2196. Thus far, it's rejected it. Now, what's really cool here is this, Tom, is if you go over, I'm going to put this up because I was talking about this yesterday, too, is that what it's really doing, when we came off the lows in December, $21.84. That's a big strength. There's two, December 29th. Yeah, there's two beautiful days of strength yeah, there. Yeah, the 30th. Yeah, it, you're talking 140 million shares. And see, even yesterday when we come down, it only did 107. So sure. I like that, man, you know, because it's like, okay. And then, then you also got the sign of strength from the 15th. The Definitely. low of that is 2137. And you know what you do when you look at that? It's you kind of like build the case. Sure. You know you, you don't you don't want to you don't want to be biased doing it. It is what it is. And hey, there's the two big high volume days. And so, you know, someone's sitting there. It's not you and I buying all the shares there, man. I mean, that's 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 a big buyer. So, it's a lot of big buyers. Let's put it that way. You know. 
It's almost like I was looking at, I think it was Tuesday, I was looking at the J-Dust, and um, it was down to, I think, 56 and change or something. And I was like, oh, my gosh, this thing has come down so far. It's almost time to buy. So I wish I did, but anyway. Yeah, no, no. I, it's to, to $70 this morning or yesterday. Like, yeah, and the, and the correlation cool. is pretty cool there, too. So watch this. When you, when, with JDST, folks, okay? This is the bearish position of the uh, junior miners. And what you're going to see is that, you know, we got down to 50-52. Uh, the 15th, the 9 million shares. Well, we were getting into that the day before. The, it croaked with 3.6 million, and it did 7 million yesterday. You know, So now you just do the opposite. The opposite is as you're going into this... 72 you can see that it got stopped in its tracks and we'll, we'll find out it's 5.4 million from the sixth you know all right guys well uh, appreciate your uh you know your uh, help last yesterday and uh hey check out the ery and the d gas because i'm in both of those they seem to be doing okay too that's a beautiful thing tom Okay, have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow Industrials are down 76. Nasdaq's off 71. S&P's are down 14. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by. TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are down 91. Nasdaq's off 71. S&Ps are down 15. Let's go over and take a look uh, inside the uh, Dow uh, strength versus the weakness. And, of course, yesterday, Dow went to an all-time high. Um, you have the uh, weakness out here. Apple's putting a 15 negative points. Home Depot, 11. Goldman, 11. Uh, Visa, 11. Walmart, 10. Um, putting positive points, not many. You got uh, Boeing putting six. Travelers putting four. Caterpillar putting three. Inside the uh, NDX 100, strength is um, Express Scripts. Oh, look at this. No strength. It's, this is interesting. So we bring this up all the time. NDX folks. is getting a hit even compared to the Dow. It is. Yeah. Uh, so the, the leader is up only seven tenths of 1%. Express scripts. Yeah. Fast and all is up seven tenths. Mattel's get down seven percent. You got C trip off three percent. Uh, Dollar Tree is off uh, two point nine, and Tesla's off two point nine. numbers. And if we go over to the Q's, this looks to me like it's building cause for tomorrow morning. So the Q's, the low, the B point in the Q's is one thirty seven forty seven. Oh, this is crazy. So we've hit one thirty seven forty nine. And if we lay right out here, folks, uh, all day, like right here. Danger in the morning because it can jump the creek, quad witching, and then see ya. Don't want to be ya. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be wild watching this thing shake out because it's, you know, when you get close to a swing, you want to test it. That's the bottom line. If you, if you, that's a high volume low. If we have just an expansion of volume and you stay right above it, your probability is much higher. It goes to sleep at night, wakes up, boom. Hits that baby. Sure. See you later. I, I, I can see that plan. I hear you. Just like the rock is last night. Tommy brought me uh, an early Father's Day present, folks. We went to U2. It was some unbelievable. Rockers, totally. It was like, if you get a chance to see it, folks, see it. That guy, that whole band, they, you talk about rockers, man. They are freaking amazing. It's, that was, that was for pretty, sure, man. That was two, they played two hours straight. That's they two did. hours straight. I said to you when we were in the car, like, man, I was tired standing. They're jumping around with that energy for two hours. Yeah, yeah. That'll keep you young. You gotta love it. Totally. Totally, man. So, um... You want to jump over? Why don't we just jump oh, over yeah. to this market so they can okay. see? I mean, just hanging, just so it's kind of hanging where it was. And that's what was nice about taking it off, too, because you got, you know, 3.004. Yeah. But as that jumped around, you you had a little um, premium in there. A, a few ticks, but, you know, you had 28 yeah. minutes left of, of trading. Um, 29 really of you know in 30 seconds so if it hangs up there it hangs up and there. that folks normally that is a very large move oh. i mean if you, on one side of the trade if you can double just so you understand we double our money on the whole trade not just one side of the trade right so i mean if you had just made yeah. a positive directional trade there i think it would have cost you about 11 dollars. so 1.1 yeah. pennies because it was slightly out of the money when we made that right. trade at 10.28 um yeah, and you would have closed out for you know fifty four for you know five times on your money just making one side, but that's right. why. So for both sides, right. pretty pretty affordable. Not much premium. No, no, Let's, and, and that's unusual. Well, I, I guess, agree. You know, I mean, twenty four. You know, you're not going to get much lower than ten to twelve ticks of on one side. So that's why twenty four on both is pretty low in terms of how much they're going to be able to charge you for that trade. No doubt. Yeah. So let's take a look at some of the high volume stocks out here. Now this is a big, well you got Facebook down two and a half dollars, but watch this, you got, well Nvidia's down two, but uh, Kruger. Kroger, uh, yeah. Kroger, this is a big hit, man. It's down five dollars. Yeah. What is going on? I heard they must have news out, because I heard them getting talked about today, either on CNBC or Bloomberg when I was in. Food deflation. Dimmer outlook. Yeah. So, earnings will be below a year ago. Management on some kind of call. Earning, yeah. Earnings per share will be down. Looks like everything, right? Well, see, watch, watch what's happening here. What's also happened? This is where Amazon is hitting these stores also, because oh sure, the you know, in my garage, and I'm sure there's plenty of people in their garages. They have all those shelves, right? You know, we put a bunch of shelves in there. And guess what? Whether it's paper towels, whether it's toilet paper, whether it's the um, uh, the things you use every day, like right. at the sink, the, the washing sure. stuff. Detergent and everything. That's yeah. all expensive stuff. So it looks like they're seeing fiscal year adjusted earnings per share two to two oh five when they were estimated two twenty. Yeah. Um, and so that's that's taking that's taking a hit out of those. And so I think what's going on just for Kroger, I was here, you know, I forget who I was here and talk about it, but it makes sense. Target and Walmart going into the grocery business is tough on you know, a business like Kroger. Yep. Um, and that's where th they have so a lot of competition really in the grocery they, market. They it's do. not just Publix and you know it's it's, yep. it's Amazon, 
It is. Walmart and Target. That's some formidable yeah. competition. And and what happens here is that the uh, you know you, you're talking deflation again. Yeah, which doesn't even tie into right. right. You know, and the, now the deflation, which is going to be pretty cool watching how this shakes out, folks. You know, ties into the aspect of what the Fed. You know, where they're going to raise. You know, because they they're looking for uh, two percent inflation. We're we're not there yet. You know, we're getting close. We're one point eight. Okay. You know, yesterday it ticked down one point seven or something. But okay. Bottom line. Uh, they they've been looking for that for a long period of time. Yeah, you know? and yeah. what does happen is that the the numbers they have does exclude food and energy. So it's like, wow, okay, you know, I don't. It seems like our prices keep going up. So, <laughs> but guess what? Yeah, statistically right. they're going down. Right. Uh, well, they're, they're not going up more than two percent. Sure. You know. Yeah. Uh, let's excuse me. Let's go over to. Uh, Apple. So we'll go over the, at these NDX stocks because yeah, Apple's getting hit today. That is the leader. Okay, so Apple did take out its B point, right? Yep. That's uh, yep. one forty two fifty one. Yeah, and we're at one forty two twenty one for a low today. Okay, so Apple's going to be a good indication. You know, can it get the volume number one, which is seventy two million? I don't think it will. We're only no. twelve. Okay. Uh, then it's going to be okay. Does does it hold price? Uh, does it just lay there until tomorrow morning? <laughs> Uh, Google, Google hasn't hit it yet. It's not good, but Google's down 20 bucks. Amazon is down 21. Microsoft 72 cents, and Facebook. How two, about Netflix? Too? 250. NFLX. Oh, yeah. So, okay, this is going to be a decent. So watch this. Netflix has broken it. Broken it pretty good, too. You know, they have a new house of cards, and I haven't watched it yet. Okay. That's going to be. So Netflix is down 335. The swing point is 148.31. Now, we went to 147. 14 million. They've done two. It's not going to have the volume. Yeah. So what happens is that when you come down like this, folks, all right, the real key is going to be now, it hits it, gets an expansion of volume. Now, what you're going to look for is this. Does it get an expansion of volume from yesterday? Yesterday, we tried to go higher at 6.4. We're going to have more than that. So what that's showing is that you still have more sellers and buyers. Now, the question is going to be, does it stay low? If it stays low, guess what? It's going to have another shot tomorrow sure. uh, to basically get volume out of the equity. And what we will get tomorrow if we stay down today is that you'll get a little nervousness coming into the weekend you know after a bad last friday yeah i mean we've seen the occasional two three four percent down day now especially in the nasdaq so yeah that'll keep everybody in their guard up you know and, well, and right now you get the uh you know this is the Nasdaq's down 1.1 percent. Right. S&P's are down seven tenths. We, you know, yeah. S&P's. That's that's a good move. The Take S&P's. Take a look at the VIX again. That, that hasn't back, moved either. Dow's only down four tenths of one percent. Tommy and I come right back, folks. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with a global market pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with hosts Tom and Tommy O'Brien along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN show and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. And folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see right in the top of the carousel an evening with our man, Mr. Larry Pezzavento. Yeah, so he's got an awesome webinar course, you know, great evening he put together. So yeah. he's done this two-hour presentation when he was just away in Europe. If anybody knows, he was away for a little while doing some action in Europe. Yeah. So he said, why don't I do this for my subscribers? Um, two hours, he's going to do an online presentation and... He's going to be talking about kind of his 55 years from the 60s and where he began to, um, you know, how he got into trading to being on the Chicago Merck, um, on the floor, um, to the all the above. First mentors, you know, you can go there, you can check it out, you can read this. And um, two hours, pretty cool. I'll be here in the office checking it out myself for sure. Yeah. So people can, of course, all those, if you're already subscribed to Fibonacci 24-7, you'll get access. You can sign up for a month in the newsletter. You get his awesome newsletter, a weekly report every week, right. all the charts, videos we always talk about coming out 24 hours a day, seven days a week, three o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Larry might be looking at something, making oh. a five minute video, sending out to his subscribers. Um, or if you don't want the newsletter, you can go just to the two hour uh, webinar course with Larry for $97. But, but it's the same advise, price. It's so, the same yeah. price. And so right. why not get the newsletter? You can cancel it at any time. And, um, should be good. And okay. his newsletter rocks. So I, I suggest people try that out. Regardless. So sweet. From, yeah. the, from the 60s to 2017. 55 years of knowledge wow. and experience. It's huge. Two hours. Should be good. Absolutely huge. Okay. Right on the front page of TFNN, folks. Checking uh, it out back to yeah. natural gas. So, you know, marginally higher. Maybe if you had held it until expiration, 302. Yeah. But getting out at $54 for getting in at $24, not bad. And, you know, it's actually a little bit rare that we... When we've been watching these, we usually get a spike one way, spike the other, sure. and it might spike back up there. But we've gotten volatility after a spike in one direction. This had no volatility Not at all. It just stayed there. It did. It's just creeping higher. We'll see. And uh, gold, uh, we're laying out there at 1256.80. Uh, the dollar's laying at that uh, up 549 ticks. So the number to keep your eye on the dollar, folks, we're 200 ticks over it right now is 97.275. You're at 97.470. Okay. And if you close over that, yeah, we, we can go higher. Yeah. Um, I expect what you're going to see out here is uh, the volatility to continue. And we'll see um, how these uh, NDX stocks uh, basically uh, try to, you know, come off the, come off the lows. Um, yeah. You know, at this point, 
You did. You don't. You know. You, you got a. We got a bounce in the queues. We went from 137, uh, 49 to 138. But I, I don't see any big deal uh, coming out here. No, not no. when we were almost at 141 yesterday, right? Right. Yeah. Right. And and what does happen uh, is that because bulls have got rewarded so many times, they don't buy in the bounce. Bottom line, what you have happening is that it's real possible that they took something overnight. And when you take something overnight, then this is where it's trouble. Sure. You know, because all of a sudden you wake up in the morning and instead of being up a percent, uh, you know, you get the NDX down one percent. Right. You know, which is very unusual. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but Can that you pull up the VIX one uh, yeah, as we absolutely. come in because you speak about one percent. I mean, we're jumping around here. The VIX is eleven, yeah, eleven fifty-seven up a whole dollar. Yeah. It's the ten fifty-seven yesterday. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they have, you know you, you're paying up for premiums, folks. Hey. And what's going to happen here too is this: you get quad richness tomorrow. So pitch this. Then we're into July options, August options, and guess what? As soon as you start talking September, people are always like, "Oh, the fall's coming," and the fall just for some reason, you know, bulls have to make it by October. That's kind of how it goes. Okay. And you know the lows normally get established in September. They think it's October, but if there's a bad market going on, it seems like you go all the way down and you start coming back, but okay. it's, that's how it shakes out. All right. You stay right there, man. Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. Then, of course, we're going to Think of Swim headquarters. We're going to be talking futures. Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself, uh, and Andy. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. <laughs> go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.